Some stats say 60% of the internet's content now is created with AI, and that's going to go to 90% by the end of 2026. We actually build models to detect whether content is generated by AI or if it's real. My name is Zogib Emmett. I'm the CEO and co-founder at Resemble AI. Uh, it's the company I started five and a half years ago. We're building text-to-speech models that support voice cloning uh, in 23 different languages. And our customers use us for agentic AI, so real-time voice agents for media, think of movies, games, and just various content creation on the internet. We started with a mission of actually building generative AI models. Uh, in particular, our frontier model we were building was in voice AI. Uh, we still build one for generative voice. Uh, it's called Chatterbox, we open source it. We have these huge data sets that are terabytes, hundreds of terabytes in size. Um, and we've got uh, multiple GPU enabled machines. And we're doing distributed training. It would take us maybe three days to prepare a machine for a training job that would have taken, you know, eight hours. So we just had this massive lead time before we could even do anything that was valuable to our core mission. All models are built on compute. You know, GPUs and infrastructure that, you know, startups like us can rely on Google Cloud for. We've been using Google Cloud and all of its AI services for years at this point. With Managed Luster now, we're able to achieve 100% GPU utilization. Uh, whereas before, with solutions like network attached storage, we were looking at more around 30 to 40%. Because the GPUs are no longer bottlenecked on those read speeds, they're able to get models out to market much faster. We don't really have these capacity concerns anymore. We know that if we need to go from 200 terabytes of storage to 500 terabytes of storage, we can do that pretty easily.